Hello super users, today we're going to learn how to do cross daft beaming for piano parts in Finale. Now this technique will work for more than just piano parts, but it's a, a notation that is often used in piano parts and not used much elsewhere. So we're going to start off by just entering some notes in the parts, that way you can actually see um, what we're doing. So I'm just like entering in random notes here, right? And we want to bring these parts to the top layer. And the way we do that is we're just going to highlight the notes we want to go to the top layer, hit option, and then the up arrow. And now we can see Finale automatically creates the hidden rest and moves the notes and the beams correctly. We can't do this by first having notes on both the top staff and the bottom staff. We have to create them all in one and then shift them together. So as a corollary, we can have notes up here and then move them down below by hitting by selecting them, hitting option and then down arrow. But we can't start by having some notes up here and then other notes down here and then expecting the beams to work out. Now the one last thing to note is that once you actually move them onto the other beam, you can't really edit uh, the notes that well. Because you can go like this, but then it just has all weird stuff, and I can't just select notes up here because technically there isn't actually anything up on the top stave. Um, but what you can do is you can reverse it, right, on the bottom layer, specifically on the layer you move the notes from, highlight where the notes would have been, and then go in the opposite direction, option down, will bring them back to the correct, um, to the correct staff. Option up brings them up, option down brings them down. Same thing with over here, we're going to highlight the top and then option up will bring them back so that way we can edit them. And the one last thing to take note is that they have to be in the correct octave before you actually transfer them. Because as we saw before, we can actually transfer any notes, like we can transfer these C's to the top staff, but it's going to be C in Ledgerland and we don't want Ledgerland like that. And so that's it. That's a nice and simple way to create cross staff theming in piano.